Hey, the Breakmaster here, and this is gonna be my Hioka episode five review. Um, this is a, good, a really good episode. It um, figured, they end up figuring out the the mystery behind uh, 45 years ago, and you know everything was the second time in June, so everything's now uncovered and it's done. This whole this episode is done with this, and so basically they wanted to um, well, not, Oriki ended up um having to over, overview her over his uh, stuff again. To think about is this stuff is right or not because he um got a letter from no not not letter his his sister his sister called and apparently his, his, um his sister knew about the whole you know thing that happened over there he's like oh the tragedy he's like whoa, whoa, whoa hold on I was like what the tragedy what, what's going on here what, what what's happening and uh she's like oh no I got I don't got time to explain bye and he's like god dang it <laughs> so he's like hmm if she's saying it was a tragedy and if things were like, were really bad then maybe. He wasn't known as necessarily a hero, so then he had to think about it. Either his theory was completely wrong, or was it, it was incomplete. So he had to try to revise it and think about what it is. So he had some other thoughts in mind. So then he round, he rounded up the gang, the classic club together, and he ended up explaining that apparently there is one person that does know about the story that we can actually talk to that is still around right under our noses, which is um, the librarian. Actually, the librarian is actually um, old enough for the, for the person to be. She was actually in that time frame, and so. They know going to the library, and her name is um, um, I I Torigawa, I Torigawa, you know the librarian girl. We seen her in like I think it was like the last episode when they're trying to get the anthologies and stuff. Yeah, she was the girl. Yeah, they, they try to get it from, but he's like, oh, it's not in the library. But um, yeah. So they went to the library, they ended up meeting up with her, and apparently she did know about the stuff, and so they end up having this whole conversation. So basically, what happened? Um, Oriki's theory was was right. Basically, the only thing you know was like different was he wasn't named as a hero because of his selfless act. It wasn't a selfless act. It was on a on a on a short on a straw basically. He didn't want to become the leader. No one did. No one stepped up to be a leader for this whole uh rioting thing that was going on because you know they're rioting for the uh you know the, the festival to last longer like to 5 days like it's supposed to not 3 because they're kind of shorted. And so then they're they're doing the whole rioting and they needed a leader and so um they they did uh they draw straws and apparently Second time of June had a shorter straw, which made him the leader. But he wasn't the one that um, ran this whole thing together. It was some random dude, actually, that was unknown to why you know reason why Second time of June got um, expelled. Because that guy would have got expelled, but he didn't want to put his name up and be like the the, the front head. You know, he was scared to get expelled. He didn't want to have nothing, have nothing to do with it really, which is a, a cowardly move. And so that's why Second time of June was actually expelled. He didn't was he wasn't like oh I'm a hero. I'm the best thing ever and whatnot and. Um, we need to do this. March on. No, he wasn't like that. The only, the only thing, the only thing he really preached about, or not preached about, what that he really wanted to, to name was the um, well, I guess it was the marching or the um festival. We call it. He called it Hioka, basically. And um, yeah. So then we also end up seeing the meaning meaning of Hioka to this episode as well. So that which also like, that uncovers everything. And so that's why Sextani Jun was the one that got expelled because he was the front runner. That that's the only person they could really go to because. Apparently they're rioting and they actually won. It's like, yay, we finally get it. We have five days of the festival, and so they end up doing this bonfire and it burned up the freaking um Kendo Club house, and that's why it looks um like it's not as old as it should be, but it's old still. But yeah, so that's why it's still that's why it's still there, and because uh, now anyways, because they had to rebuild it after like um for twenty years, so it just it was stupid. So that's what happened. That's why he got expelled, and so then we ended up hearing the meaning of this, and he made it as a pun basically, uh. For the for your hope for your hope for Hioka. Hioka in English stands for ice cream. And then uh, if you turn it around, like I said, it's like a pun. It means ice cream. And so uh, with that, they made um um what's her name? Uh, Chitanda basically could remember everything. She's like, <gasps> and so she remembers all the stuff that happened. Why she cried? Basically, she couldn't take it, I guess, because. Uh, you know, she wasn't old enough to really understand because it would, it would hurt her. So I'm not exactly sure what, what he said exactly, but he said it would hurt her, and that's why she started crying and everything. And so, yeah, this is like she's like, wow, I can't believe I remember. I remember everything finally. I can finally rest easy knowing this stuff now. And thank you, Ricky. Thank you, and stuff. And so that's how that's how the whole thing is. It, it, it was interesting. He was not actually. He was not actually. He was branded as a hero towards the end for some reason because apparently when he did get expelled, he didn't show no emotion. He's like, well, couldn't do it. I'm pretty sure she was mad about that too, because it's like, what the heck? So, um, that's basically how the episode is, and you know, they end up parting ways from that time. It's like, I'll see you tomorrow, whatever. And he ends writing this little note to uh his his sister, his sister, being like, 
Well, did you know I was going to end up having to do all this stuff and to change my ways, not to have my easygoing, lazy lifestyle to doing this? So that's that's, that's all how the episode ended. So I'm curious what's going to happen next. What kind of uh, what kind of follow up they're going to have with this story? Um, what is Chitana going to actually do now since she knows everything? So you know, I'm, I'm looking forward to this. It's a good episode, very informative. Like I said, I'm not going to. I can't explain every single thing that happened in the episode because it's a lot of stuff. But yeah. Leave, or, what the heck, leave your comment below and tell me what you think of the episode. Like if you like the, like the review and subscribe to my channel for some more. So yeah, this is my Hillkit episode 5 review. And until then, break out. Messing up. <laughs>